won the World Club Challenge for the fifth time? The answer is the Wigan Warriors, who triumphed over the Australian champions, the Penrith Panthers, at the DW Stadium. This victory was no easy feat, with the match being a heart-stopping roller coaster from start to finish. The Warriors drew first blood with Abbas Miski and Cruz Leeming, but the Panthers responded in kind through Nathan Cleary and Dylan Edwards. The score at halftime favored the Panthers by a slim margin of 12 to 10. After the break, two crucial decisions by referee Liam Moore shifted the game to Wigan's favor. He ruled that Jake Wardle had scored a try, and then controversially denied Taylor May's last-ditch effort. These calls were met with a wave of disappointment from the Panthers, who, despite dominating the Australian game for three seasons, have now lost all four of their attempts to conquer the world stage. The game began with an error from Willie Issa, but Wigan quickly recovered. A spectacular opening try came from a long pass by Bevan French to Miski, who dashed over the line to score. The Panthers, preparing for their own National Rugby League campaign, looked a bit rusty and struggled to make headway until Cleary's high kick bounced off Miski's head, leading to a simple try. Wigan responded with an impressive team move, resulting in Leeming crossing the line. The Panthers, who had previously displayed their comeback prowess in the NRL Grand Final, retaliated with Edwards sprinting through a gap to level the score. Cleary's kick gave the Panthers a narrow lead as the teams headed into halftime. The second half saw Wigan on the back foot, defending ferociously against the relentless Panthers. In their only attack, Jai Field's grubber kick was scooped up by Wardle. Moore ruled this as a try, despite a video review suggesting a double movement. As the Panthers rallied once more, Field denied May with a brilliant tackle. However, the video official denied French a spectacular try due to an offside call. In the dying seconds, May appeared to have scored a leveling try, but Moore's call of no try stood as video evidence did not contradict his decision. With this victory, Wigan Warriors now stand shoulder to shoulder with the Sydney Roosters as the only teams to have won the World Club Challenge five times. The significance of this match lies in the fact that it was a testament to the tenacity and never-give-up attitude of the Wigan Warriors. As their coach Matt Pete so eloquently put it, this was a game won by never giving in. Every player on that field poured their heart and soul into the game, and it is this resilience that ultimately led to their historic victory. This match will go down as one of the most thrilling and memorable in the history of the World Club Challenge. The Wigan Warriors have proven once again that they are a force to be reckoned with, standing tall in the face of adversity and emerging victorious. Jump.